I would like to acknowledge the Yagara, Yugambe and the Turbul people who are the traditional custodians of this land. I would also like to pay respect to the elders, past and present, and extend that respect to other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people viewing this video story. We will dance. I love this country, Australia, but it seems to me, however, mostly my love is limited to white, ignoring the other's fight, remaining out of sight. Biased media was my only engagement, an insidious belief, vacant of any truth, where only fear and ignorance could prevail. I always learned of history belonging to others' ethnicity, but never learnt our own. I knew of Gandhi and King and many things deriving from other worlds. Sturt, Flinders, Cook and lies in school books took whatever chance I had for learning. But now I have a yearning, turning ignorance to become aware. Perkins, Pemmelwoy and Benelong all belong in our nation's songs. Just small things that like Lingyari can grow to become a movement of people that know our past, of terrible moments that last in the minds of our first people. I wonder if our streets of black tar, now overflowing with cars, were once a well-travelled track always leading back to the home country of men from the past. Did they meet where there is now concrete within the seat of power? Where recognition is but a flag waving? Isn't our history worth saving outside of a token painting? Hung it seems to make someone feel good, but should be an opportunity of personhood. Logan loves its leaders from footy to the war. But at its founding core is the people from here, the forever, never regaled about, always pushed out of stories from Logan's birth. Pioneers, colonial intrusion, but with never a fusion. You keep your place and we'll hide your face. They would have failed if not for the skill, but then they kill both body and respect. Except now it is changing. The voice is getting louder, prouder and slowly strong. Being silent is wrong. Places being created, no longer being hated, but celebrated. Slowly the ripples expand, and I stand in the library, a place for meeting, a place that is treating with respect and honour for the fallen, heeded the calling where others stayed silent. We could do more, so much more, but opening that door takes but one single movement, and I, as a student, this will be my investment, a small pebble and a partnership. No white man's guilt trip, always with, not for, never more the division. We stand on the shoulders of people and elders whose history long surpasses the ruling classes, and we will need them. Oh, we will need them. But only when the land has the chance again to dance to the rhythm of ancient form, which will never conform to the norms of cement and steel. And we will all dance as one together.